On October 5th, Draymond Green and teammate Jordan Poole got into a verbal altercation during practice. The incident ended with Draymond punching Poole in the face. The situation rocked the sports world and shook the Golden State Warriors to the core. Uh, I think in the, in the very first few minutes, you're, you're, or first few or 10 or whatever, I think you're initially upset, you know, uh, pissed off, which, which, is how you, which is why you have the reaction you have. And so I think in the first minutes, just upset, like kind of not thinking about much except for what just happened. You know, um, and then you kind of move to the why, you know, uh, part of the process of why did this happen and walking yourself through why, um, the different things that can get you to why uh, what took place actually took place. From there, how do you feel about it? And I think that's the natural process that I went through is, OK, now that you process what just happened, now you've processed the why. Now, how do you feel? And what do you feel about it? Because everyone still needs to process what happened. That could take time. Look, it's the NBA. It's professional sports. These things happen. There's a lot of trust in the fabric of our team, who we are. It's for us to handle, you know, privately. I never once thought no one would hear about it. Nothing stays in house these days. Um, everything gets to the media. Everything is said. A video came out of Draymond Green at practice. TMZ released this video of Draymond punching Jordan Poole. This is the biggest crisis that we've ever had. That's not like one of those fights where you come back and you're great buddies. This is a bigger story than anyone wants to admit. If I were him and I did that, I would say, you know what? I don't even deserve to be at ring night. I actually woke up to the video. Um, once I woke up to the video, I don't know if the, the dynamic necessarily changes or not because you never really know people's opinions right away. Uh, so you get at a time, you know, you give it some time to allow people to throw their opinion out, which quite frankly, I don't care about people's opinion. And to be totally honest with you, I never really knew how much it blew up because I don't really, I don't spend much time like searching Instagram or looking through comments. I don't spend much time, I don't read, really read many tweets at all. And so I was just at home chilling with my children. If you want me to be honest with you, I still don't know how much the world may think it blew up. Sparked by the leak of the video, the incident did blow up. It went viral. It was everywhere. It was front page news. It was discussed, dissected, and debated around the clock in the sports universe, prompting the central figures to look deep within. There is like this 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 dark cloud in the room, and I caused that, you know, so I I apologize to, to his family. For me, that is the task at hand, to, to rebuild um, trust in our locker room. I failed as a man, I failed as a leader, and I will do everything that I can to make this right or to right the ship and um, to help this team, to help Jordan, his family, um, and, and, and move forward from there. Wondering why there is no suspension, and there's this verbiage of he's stepping away. Mutual decision. We feel like this is the best decision we can make going forward. On October 12th, four days after his exile, for lack of a better word, Draymond Green arises for an early morning workout at his residence. He has to keep his body ready. Today, he has work to do. The previous night, the much anticipated announcement on his status with the team was made. I'm gonna get right to the uh, Draymond situation. I expect him to play Friday in our last preseason game and, and on opening night. We're gonna lean on the experience that we have together and trust that this is the best decision for our team. Can't change the events that happen, but we can control what, what happens moving forward. And that's where we are. And myself as the leader of this team, it's on me to make sure we're headed that way. 
top third, you know, you know what it is, I know what it is. Continue to move forward, put it behind us. It helps, allows you to start the process. Get back with my team, um, get back to work, get back to practice, put the work in that needs to be put in from a basketball standpoint, from a leadership standpoint, and get back to business. That's where I go from here. That's where we go from here. Ring night and time will heal all wounds. For every defending champion, NBA opening night has a special significance. It's a one-of-a-kind ceremony and celebration. It's an experience that cannot be duplicated. The banners, the cheers, the diamonds, the memories. For Draymond, perhaps this impending one will carry extra significance as the one that conceivably almost got away. The importance of arena night is you're, you're essentially closing a chapter. You're closing the last chapter that we're about to get ready and start the next journey. That journey is complete. It's complete with a diamond ring. It's complete with a ring that says we are the best in the world. It's a very emotional night. Very emotional. I'm looking forward to playing. I'm looking forward to being a part of Rain Night. That's the countdown, baby. I'm out. I was told the world has been able to see one of your worst moments. Look at all the upsides you have now. And it's a totally, totally different way of looking at it. Like the world has seen one of your, your worst moments. Look at the upside. And I can live, I can live with that. <laughs>